here at Dayton Vale where I was just speaking to the person from the weather service because conditions are still, as you can see, still iffy. They don't expect any more tornadoes out here today, but things are pretty unstable. With that said, it was surprising, except everybody grabbed their cell phone. Look at this video real quick. The roof is flying up. Sheesh. Oh, my God. And, you know, it, it's amazing how everybody couldn't believe that they were seeing a tornado and we didn't know it was a tornado until they just confirmed it for us. The other thing that is still happening, people are still assessing the damage. We heard at least 11 buildings red tagged, but possibly more. They're still going through it, especially at this sports store. Let me show you what happened here. Check this out. Thank you. At the end, it just blow out everything, all these windows. I roll up in the ground this way, and I, I tried to stand up again and throw me down again. And, and then I decide to come, to come here because if I, if I st stand up, it will roll again. And uh, right now we're doing a preliminary assessment to work with our police department to make sure that uh, all workers or any other employees are evacuated from these structures. We're working in conjunction with our public works department to see what structures need to be red tagged from this damage and we're going forward from there. When you see this on TV, on the movies, you never ever imagine that can happen to you. But when it happens to you, you cannot even believe it. Tell me. And, you know, again, the shock in people's voices. I mean, they're smiling because it could have been much worse. We are talking about one person that has been injured, minor injuries, that's it. But they are still assessing in the area, at least 11 buildings red tagged. They're still waiting to hopefully get the power back on. The high school will find, we'll have to find out more about that. They may not be able to have school tomorrow if they don't get power back on. So things still developing out here. We will keep you updated. Live in Montebello, I'm Christina. Gonzalez. Back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, Christina, when we see the damage there, Rick Dickert, it's amazing that more people weren't hurt.